It's not often on the Gresty Academy YouTube channel we document the wrong way to do something, but this trap, uh, inequality trap for the unwary, is so common that it's worth doing this wrong before we do it right. Okay, so this is the wrong way to do it and gives the wrong answer. What we do is multiply by this, so we get 1 less than or equal to x squared minus 5x add 5, and then we move that over the other side, 0 less than or equal to x squared minus 5x add 4, and then we factorise. Uh, and remember, this is the wrong way of doing it, but this is such a common way of doing it, and so they give the answer, x must be greater than or equal to 4, or x must be less than or equal to 1. This is wrong. Okay, and the reason why it's wrong is with inequalities, you cannot multiply or divide both sides by anything unless you are certain that either A, it's positive all the time, or B, it's negative all the time, in which case you would flip the sign. This here, if we look at b squared minus 4ac on it, we get that it's 25 minus uh, 4ac is 20, which is greater than 0. Therefore, we know that this has real roots, and we know it's both positive and negative, so we cannot multiply across the inequality. That's the wrong way to do it. OK, let's have a look at the right way. So what we have to do is go 1 over x squared minus 5x and 5 minus 1 is less than or equal to 0, i.e. 1 over x squared minus 5x add 5 minus x squared minus 5x add 5 over x squared minus 5x add 5 is less than or equal to 0. Uh, and simplifying all that lot gives us minus x squared add 5x minus 4 over x squared minus 5x add 5 is less than or equal to 0. Uh, multiplying by minus 1 on the top, because we don't want to deal with minus x squared, means we have to flip the inequality, which gives us x squared minus 5x add 4 over x squared minus 5x add 5 is greater than or equal to 0. Now, factorising top and bottom gives us x minus 4, x minus 1 on the top. Uh, let's just have a look at the bottom there. Factorising that using minus b plus or minus square root b squared minus 4ac over 2a gives us 5 plus or minus the square root of 25 minus 20 all over 2. So basically factorising the bottom will be x minus 5 minus root 5 over 2, x minus 5 plus root 5 over 2, and all of that has got to be greater than or equal to 0. Now, as there are four terms here, we can look at a number line. Here's a number line. Here's the number 4. Here's the number 1. Here is the number 5 minus root 5 over 2. And here's the number 5 plus root 5 over 2. Now, as there are four terms, anything less than there means they are all negative, And so, therefore, multiplying and dividing them will be positive. And likewise here, of greater than 4, it will be all positive, but also in this bit here, there will be two positives and two negatives out of these four, and so that will be positive as well, leaving only negative here and negative here, and so therefore the answer to our inequality is going to be either x less than or equal to 1, which is that lot, or 5 minus root 5, oh, my apologies, uh, 5 minus root 5. Sorry about that. 5 minus root 5 over 2 is less than x. I'll come back to that in a minute. Is less than 5 plus root 5 over 2. Note that it's not less than or equal here because x cannot take the value 5 minus root 5 over 2 and it cannot take the value 5 plus root 5 over 2. Otherwise, this would be infinite. Uh, or x greater than or equal to 4. And that is the solution to the inequality up here. OK? Um, and just a matter of interest, for those so interested, we could just have a little look at the chart of this. Uh, this is courtesy of desmos.com. Um, and you can see, so this red bit here is 1 over x squared minus 5x and 5, and the blue bit here is uh, y equals 1. So you can see that uh, when this is less than 1 is basically everything for x less than or equal to 1, and also over here x 
greater than or equal to 4, but also you have these two asymptotes here at 5 minus root 5 over 2 and 5 plus root 5 over 2, where also it is less than 1. And so that's uh, the solution, and it's quite nice to see it visually. Um, well, I hope that you found this useful, and I hope you don't fall into this trap in an exam. Um, if you don't, then please like this video by pressing the little thumbs up button uh, and subscribe to the Gresty Academy YouTube channel. Thank you.